Before MindPrint, we used to teach our clients a plethora of different test-taking strategies and time management techniques and say, use what's useful. Now we can look at some of the independent MindPrint factors and quickly identify exactly which strategies work for a specific student. Without proper diagnostic, even a well-trained professional tutor is bound to spend five or 10 tutoring hours figuring out just that. In our company, we have both the tutors and the students take MindPrint and it helps us maximize standardized test scores. Let me give you an example. So I have this student who is otherwise brilliant, but they have a low flexible thinking score. In a situation like this, I know that this student is going to process all of the verbal input in a fixed way, which can be a problem on test day. So a student like this will read the passage, narrow down the answer choices to just two, and then try to pick. Is it B? Is it C? And kind of try to pick which one is better. This is a danger zone for a student with low flexible thinking. We explain to our students that SAT is a standardized test that has three answer choices that are 100% wrong and one answer choice that is 100% correct. So if the student genuinely feels that both answers could work, something has gone wrong and they practically misread a part of the passage and a part of the assignment. While a student with high flexible thinking is going to have no problem considering other possibilities, a student with low flexible thinking is going to need a specific process to follow. It often turns out that neither of the answer choices they were previously considering was correct. When they reread the question, they reread the passage, they realize that another answer choice was right all along and they completely misunderstood the assignment. Students with low flexible thinking score also specifically struggle with novel question types, which is why it is important to introduce them to every possible flavor, every possible variation of the question that tests them on the same concept. For example, trigonometric identity. It is unavoidable that they will see something unusual on their test. College Board is really good at keeping the students on their toes. So since it's unavoidable, we train students with low flexible thinking score to anticipate a surprise and we teach them a specific strategy like cognitive incubation to treat those questions as, oh, nothing has gone wrong, I knew this was going to happen, and here's my set of actions.